Hey, good morning, everybody. This is your market update for Monday, November 21st. I hope everybody is having a great day. This is officially the kickoff to Thanksgiving week. I hope everybody's got big plans to eat lots of good food and spend lots of time with family and friends. Uh, we do have an abbreviated trading week this week. Uh, obviously, the market will be closed on Thursday in observance of Thanksgiving, and there's an abbreviated trading day on Friday. So there's a lot of information that's going to be crammed into the first half of this week. Um, not too terribly much in the first couple of days, but Wednesday, there'll be a lot of information, economic information uh, and news that'll be coming out. So we'll keep you updated on that information and how it impacts the markets. Uh, stock market initially opened the day. The futures indicated that the stock market was going to open down, and in fact, it did. Um, currently, the Dow is sitting down 114 points. NASDAQ and S&P 500 both down as well. And I think the primary reason for that um, is due to some news coming out of China, who obviously is a, a large global economic power, that uh, there's been some COVID-related deaths. And there's a fear that uh, you know China, who recently just kind of um, reopened, if you will, or kind of eased up on some COVID restrictions um, in their you know in the country in the economy. Um, which led to a positive feeling globally about potential um, easing of supply chain issues. But with the news coming out that there's some COVID-related deaths in China, the fear is now that they may backtrack on that easing up um, and kind of go back to a shutdown, which obviously would not be good news in a lot of cases for uh, for, su for supply chain um, issues. Uh, so, We'll wait and see, you know, what how that translates into, um, you know, what their actions are moving forward in China. We'll keep you updated on that. Um, bond market, mortgage-backed securities on Friday, they closed down, I think, 23 basis points. So not a great day on Friday, but certainly not a horrible day. Um, certainly could have been better. Um, today, the uh, the bond market initially opened up three basis points. Has send it, Since then, um, reverse course, I think we're hitting that 50-day moving average that we keep bouncing back off of. So right now, the bond market or mortgage-backed securities are down eight basis points, um, You know, pretty much an 11-point swing from positive to negative on the day. We'll call that flat. Um, so it, it, there was some Federal Reserve comments that came out um, over the course of the last couple of days that continue uh, to imply that the Federal Reserve, you know, may be uh, certainly interested in moving forward and backing off of those large jumbo rate hikes of 75 basis points to the federal funds rate. Um, so the more news that comes out, um, you know, in, in favor of kind of easing off of that, I anticipate that that's going to continue to have a, a positive impact on the bond market and, and a positive impact on mortgage rates as well. So fingers crossed, prayer said, that is in fact what happens. We will keep, continue to keep you updated. I hope everybody has a fantastic day and I will see you tomorrow morning.